Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a nice text fade in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it's gonna fade in, and then we're gonna have it animate to fade out. It's this nice slow transition that can give a different feel to revealing your text. So let's get started on this. First things first, I went ahead and imported some footage I got from Envato Elements, a great subscription-based service for a, a unlimited amount of stock footage, videos, and templates. So check out the link in the description below for that. All you gotta do is do a monthly subscription and you can get all of that stuff, it's great. So once I have my footage imported, I'm gonna go down here to the text tool. I'm just gonna type in some text. I'm gonna go ahead and type in paradise again. We are then going to go over here, if we click on it, go to the Essential Graphics panel and then into the Edit on the text. I'm gonna click both of these buttons right here to center it, and then I actually want it more along the horizon, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this up just so it's along the horizon. Make all of your adjustments for fill and stroke and stuff and then get ready for the actual effect here, which is gonna be Video Effects Transition Linear Wipe. I'm gonna drag and drop that over onto the graphics layer itself. Now on the left side in the effect controls, we have the controls and on the right side, you see the effect is added above the paradise text. We will then go to the transition completion. You see if we drag that across, it actually makes it go across. We'll go somewhere in the middle and then bring our feather up just so we see what we're doing with this. I say right around 110 or so is good. We'll then animate. We're gonna start off at 100% because we don't wanna see the text. Click this little animate. I'm gonna hold the shift key when I click on this to go five at a time. Go right about there, and then we're gonna bring this down to zero. Now, problem. We are going from right to left on this reveal. Typically speaking, uh, the Western world reads left to right, so this may feel a bit off depending on what you're trying to portray. So to reverse this, we're actually gonna do the wipe angle here, and we're gonna make it 270. So 90 is gonna be that right to left. The 180 is gonna be bottom to top, 270 left to right, and then zero will be top to bottom. So we're gonna go 270 now. Now you can see it comes in nicely. Now, how do we make it go out? As in a still a continuous left to right motion. If we went up to 100%, you're gonna see it's actually gonna come back this way. So what we need to do is find the place where we want it to go out. We're gonna create ourselves a little key point or a key frame right there. I'm gonna then go forward and make this transition back to the 100. And so now we have the out transition there, but we actually have to make it go the other way. So we're gonna to go to this point right here where this keyframe is. You can use these to jump between keyframes. So we're gonna go right to this keyframe, the third one. I'm gonna go back one frame. I'm gonna set this wipe angle back to 90. Now, typically we would want it to jump. Well, first off, actually, let me go ahead and we gotta turn that on first. So I'll go over here and this one is gonna be at uh, 270, so we need to drop a keyframe and then go over here and then make this 90. So we just need to make sure that this over here stays at 270 and this is at 90. Now, typically we would make it actually jump. So for example, we would um, make sure that the wipe angle is only one frame changing, which means we'd actually go to this frame right here and we jump before and then create another frame. But in this particular case, nothing's happening right here. So we can have it just do this transition across because once we get it to this point at the end, it's gonna look good and it's gonna go across. If you wanna do some funky sort of stuff, if you drag it out, it's actually kind of fun. You can sort of have it go in almost in like a circle as it goes, um, sort of a sideways thing, but that's just, you know, customization you can do. Anyway, that is how you create this fun little text reveal wipe effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you like this tutorial and you'd like to learn Premiere Pro and all the effects down here like a tutorial based like, you know, sort of this style, check out the link in the description below for my course. It is a Premiere Pro course uh, that I made from scratch, which is basically just tutorials like this. We're creating little effects and through that you're learning all the effects and Premiere Pro so you can become an expert. Uh, take that next step in Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make videos on all the different Adobe products, not just Premiere Pro, because all of them working together is an important thing. Thanks, and until next time, see ya.